Hi, Virginia. Wow. Hello, beautiful woman. How you doing, gentlemen? How are you? I'm okay now. Mm. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Eight years later, people still remind me of that series that we did and literally sent me emails. Because of you, I decided to find my parents. Did I have a biological mother out there? I'm 52 years of age and I had been wanting to do this probably since the day I found out that I was adopted. Maybe I'll go ahead and find them on my own. Maybe they'll just pop up on a web page. I wrote in Find my birth parents and up pop the webpage, birthparentfinder.com. We are a national company, but we have a lot of clients from California and records are easily accessible in California, for me at least. At 7.15 in the morning, I'm in my office and the phone rings and it's Jay. And Jay says, Tom, are you sitting down? And I said, yeah, I actually was sitting down. He said, no, Tom, I actually need you to sit down. And I said, okay, Jay, I'm sitting down. And he goes, all right, we found your birth mother. Three years after they gave me up for adoption, stayed in love, got married, stayed married for about 25 years, had two more children. I never in my wildest dreams figured I'd have a full brother and a full sister. And we all grew up 20 minutes from one another and went to the same schools that I went to. And so Jay has had conversations with both of them. I'm not connected with them yet. We don't even know if they want to even know about me. We have to prepare them for what, what they don't know, what could change their life. Are you prepared for the worst, where they would reject you? Because you were rejected once, and if you get rejected twice, that's a real bad feeling. So my mom and I started a text, and we made an appointment to have our first conversation on the phone. And so that took place, we spoke for three hours. Then it was decided that we should meet. So on my 50th birthday, I got on a plane, flew up to Northern California, drove and walked up the doorsteps, walked up to the doorstep and met, hugged, and hung out, had dinner and spent the night at my biological mother's house. You can't describe it. We sat there and stared at each other like two cats, sizing each other up, praying on, or just hanging on every word that someone was saying. Because we sat the same, we talked the same, we used our hands the same. It was mind boggling. And then two yeah. weeks after that, I met my siblings. I just want to help as many people as I can. I will just tell you that there's a lot of us out there. Those that have been adopted, we all have an abandonment issue. Whether or not we choose to address that issue is entirely up to the individual. We have a team of genetic genealogists, so we do whatever it takes to solve their case. And once we do, it's an amazing feeling. I cannot recommend them enough. They are an exceptional group of people, very professional. And I just, I think the world of them.